Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a cubic equation with complex numbers. At least we're going to attempt because there's no guarantee we're going to be able to solve it, right? Or is there? Is there a cubic formula? We know that we know that there is no quintic formula, right? But there's a quartic formula which is huge and there's also something called a cubic formula. So we should be able to solve it using the cubic formula maybe, right? We'll give it a try. So we have z cubed plus z squared equals negative 2 plus 4i. We're going to solve for z. What is z? Z is a complex number. What is a complex number? A complex number is a plus bi. If you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check my lecture videos. I go over basics of complex numbers. And I also have another channel called Cyber Math, Cyber with an S, where I go over number theory and algebra problems. And you can always suggest. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and see how we can solve this problem in more than one way. First method. For my first method, I tried replacing z with a plus bi because why not? It's the name of this channel, so we might as well use it. When I did, I ended up with something like this, and then something like this, right? And when I expanded, I separated the real parts and the imaginary parts, and I ended up with a system of equations that kind of looks like this, if I'm not mistaken. I got something like this, and then Uh-oh, this is where I got stuck. You know what? This is a cubic system, and cubic systems are fairly difficult to solve, right? How would you go about solving it? Well, well, we could try to solve one of these equations as a cubic or a quadratic and plug into the other one, which is going to super duper complicate things. So I don't know of a really nice way of solving this problem. Maybe there is a way to do it by adding these equations, manipulating them in some certain way, but I couldn't really see a quick way out. So... I'm going to leave it with you and I want you to think about it. Is there a good way or easy way to solve this problem? And then I will continue with the second method if you don't mind. So we're going to leave this open. Second method. Second method is kind of like more straightforward and more standard. We're going to go ahead and use the cubic formula. What is the cubic formula? Let me talk about it. So we're going to go ahead and first re get rid of z squared. There's probably a different way to do it. Like you can replace z with... Was it something like a plus something over a? I don't know, something like that. And then you can kind of solve it. Your goal is to kind of make it easily solvable, right? So here's the general method. Due to some Italian guy, we don't exactly know who it is. Is it Cardano? Is it Ferrero? Is it Tartaglia? I don't know. I'm not sure. But most people say it's not Cardano formula. It's known by that. Okay. So let's go ahead and replace z with another variable. How about w minus one third? And that one comes from the coefficient of z squared and the three at the bottom comes from the degree. You get the idea? And the minus sign is the opposite. So that's how you uh, kind of mm, come up with the formula, okay? So what we can go ahead and replace z with that, right? And that should give us hopefully a good solution. Let, uh, leave the constant on the right-hand side, and let's go ahead and expand this. How do you cube a difference? I usually cube it like this. I cube the terms, and then I multiply them and triple the uh, product, so that gives me a W, and then I just factor out it and like this. I use the special formula. Okay, you hopefully know that. If you've seen some videos on my channel, you should definitely know that formula. Okay, let's go ahead and work on the left-hand side first, and then we can set it equal to the negative 2 plus 4i, okay? So this gives me the following, w cubed minus 1 over 27 minus w squared plus 1 over 3w plus w squared minus 2 over 3w plus 1 over 9 equals something. Now notice that w squared cancels out. That's not by coincidence. That was the purpose. So we want to get rid of the, what's it called, w squared. That's how you can solve cubic equations. At least that's one way to do it. I subtract these and then plus 1 ninth is equal to negative 2 plus 4i. So here's the next step. We're going to go ahead and put everything constant on the right-hand side. So that's going to be like negative 2 and 1 ninth, which is going to be negative 19 ninths plus 4i, such a weird number. And then I'm going to use my hocus pocus uh, abracadabra cubic equation skills, a plus b cubed minus 3ab multiplied by a plus b equals a cubed plus b cubed. So we're going to come up with a system from here, which 
in, uh, which turns into a quadratic. Notice that uh, 3ab needs to be one third, so that means ab is equal to one over nine. And then a cubed plus b cubed, which is a constant, needs to be 19 over nine with a negative sign plus four i. And then you can cube both sides. That'll be one over 729, such a large number. And now you have a system, which you can solve. It'll turn into a quadratic. You can do a couple different things. You can use Vieta's formulas, like let's say t represents a cubed and b cubed. And then from here, you can solve for a quadratic, such as something like this. Maybe I'll write it like this, because I have to negate it, right? t plus 1 over 729. And then use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is going to give you negative b, so something like this, plus minus the square root of b squared, so you have to square this, how nice. And then minus 4ac is going to give you that. So you're going to be doing a lot of work with radicals, and there's no guarantee that the square root is going to be nice. So that's very risky, but what can you do? That's the cubic formula, and is there an easy way out? That's for you to think about, because I'm still going to show you another way to approach this problem, okay? That's kind of like a, kind of like a sneaky method, and it's not always going to apply, but given that this is a competition-level problem, you know, uh, these questions, these problems allow for sneaky, elegant methods, okay? <laughs> sneaky and elegant in the same sentence, right? Great, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and factor out z squared and put the z plus 1. Now... Here's what I'd like to do. If I'm able to separate this into two pieces, such that one of them is z plus 1, and the other one is z squared. If you want, you can also call this w, and then this will be w minus 1 squared, multiply by w, and then kind of set it equal to this, and go from there. It's not super duper necessary, uh, but if you want, you can do that. Now, Let's see how we can handle or take it from here. So to be able to guess, this is because this is going to be by guess and check, I need to find a number and then plus one multiplied by its square. Hmm. So I need to separate something. So I need to factor this. I could probably take out a negative two. That would be one minus two i. But when I look at these numbers, if I square the expression inside the parentheses, which I'm guessing is z plus 1, then I'm not getting negative 2, right? Even if I subtract 1 from it, wait a minute, does that not work? If you subtract 1 from this, you get negative 2i, but if you square it, you're going to get negative 4. That's not going to work. We do have negative 2. So do, do it a little differently. Maybe do it like this, okay? Factor out, factor out a negative... Let's factor out an i first, okay? If I factor out an i, this will be, how do I factor out an i, by the way? i squared, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and write this as 2i squared, here we go, plus 4i. And then I'm gonna think about something that I can use to factor this. I'm gonna write the i first. So now, can we take out, okay, we, we did try to take out a two, it didn't work. Negative two is probably not gonna work because it's gonna be similar. But if I take out an i, I'll be getting 4 plus 2i. Now think about it. If I square this after subtracting 1, of course, like this is e plus 1, remember? This is e plus 1. If I subtract 1 from it, it's going to be 3 plus 2i, but its square is not going to be i. Hmm. But if I do this, things will be different. Let's erase this. And I'm going to write it as, I'll factor out a 2i, because that's possible, right? 2 plus i. There you go. Now, if 2 plus i is z plus 1, then if z plus 1 is 2 plus i, z will be 1 plus i, and z squared is going to be 2i. Because if you square 1 plus i, you get 2i. You got that? This is z squared. So, it means z equals 1 plus i is a solution. That's kind of tricky, right? And obviously, it's hard to guess, but you should try it. Z equals 1 plus i is a solution, but what about the other solutions? Well, knowing that is a solution, you can use Vieta's formulas or long division, polynomial division, whatever division you want to use, then you should be able to find the other roots. But I'm going to show you the results from Wolfram Alpha. Ready, set, and go. Here we go. 
the obvious one, not so obvious one, but kind of obvious, and the others are kind of not that nice. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and don't forget to check out CyberMath. Bye-bye.